Hello, it's Andy Graham of Hobo Traveler. I'm in uh, Boisseau, Cote d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast. Uh, Cote d'Ivoire and Ivory Coast are the same thing. And I'm always uh, amazed how somehow nature just refuses to be conquered sometimes. Uh, this is a what appears to be kind of a, a rapids or a, a splitting of the river. I'm not sure exactly what's going on. Uh, pretty wide river here in Abuaso. But what's interesting, there's about a two meter drop, maybe about 10 feet drop from, from right down here to the next level. But what makes it even more intriguing is that over here behind the trees is actually dropping down to on a behind those bushes over there and then all the way over here on the right so it's a very wide area that drops and make things even cooler somebody's trying to live on this little island in the middle it looks like i'm not saying they're living but there's a definitely a plastic uh like made tent and some stuff there which would be quite a safe place to stay if you really wanted to just park it so uh, over here in the right is uh, a tree. Now this doesn't mean much, but these trees grow like, I don't know how you want to explain it, but they, they're they like maybe say 50, 100 yards apart, then all of a sudden there's this huge tree. 50, 100 yards apart, then there's a huge tree. Uh, most of the time they've cut them down, and this is one of the big problems with Africa is that they've, they've used... Uh, for so many years, they've used uh, wood as a way to cook with that, that if you're in a metro tro metropolis area or like in a highly dense place where there's a lot of people, there is no, there is no uh, trees left and they basically strip them off. Of course, they always go for the closest ones first, right? So this is kind of nice. So and this, uh, this tree means that it's probably a little difficult to get to, plus it's probably Maybe not a hardwood tree or something that the Europeans really want. Uh, Europe came through and logged this whole area extensively. West Africa is basically was almost raped of all their trees while in the colonization or prior to the colonization, state colonization time. Uh, this was predominantly colonized by French. But uh, any way you do it, you can't always conquer nature. Nature can conquer us, and uh, this is it. Abuaso, Cote d'Ivoire. Abuaso, Cote d'Ivoire. It's in between Grand Bassam and Abidjan and the Ghana border. Uh, about half the distance. Uh, this is the other side of the bridge. It's uh, quite beautiful, and what you notice is, of course, all through time, people built their houses pretty close to the uh, water. So there's a two to, looks like a two-story colonial building over here that is probably built by the French and in the time now. With the invention of the road, a lot of people have moved away from the houses, uh, from the river. So as long as they can have drinking water, they can build it. So a lot of times they, plus there's a lot of problems with water.